Alright, the next thing we're doing is mounting our fan blades. And we just screw from the bracket into the fan. Put in the screw in there with my screwdriver. Okay, three more new. Look at him, he says up. And we'll put our light assembly on. Okay, next we're going to mount our light assembly. I put our little chain on. I put the screws in for the gloves, for the shades. I put those in on the ground. It's a matter of just plugging your wire in to the wires here. It's sucking everything in. You do have to make sure. This piece where it's notched. is where your switch is. That's why I put it there. Okay. Put everything in. You can start your screws. Okay, I got two more screens put in on the nose, and then we'll put our uh, chains on. Okay, next we'll put our chain on, our last chain. This chain will control the fan, this will control the lights. We'll put up our last glue, our last chain, and of course we need these by hand. There, you can do them with a screwdriver, but we know them with our hands. Okay, next we put our label on there. Okay, the next step, I like to have the fan uh, powered up at this point. So when we put our light bulbs in, we need to screw them in, make sure they're on. Okay, and that'll finish it up. Let's control the lights. Let's 
can throw them in our pan. And our switch for summer or winter is on this side. And there you have it. Our finished pan pan. Usually to check to see if the paddle pan's off, the fan, the fan's off, you just feel it. And if the motor's on, you can feel the vibration. But that's all there is to it. Like I said before, the most important part is the fan selection and mounting the masonry fan to the ceiling. Those are the two most important things.